Am I actually going to read all of these books? Probably not. Hello, hi, how are you? I hope you're good. Welcome to my November TBR. For those that don't know, November is nonfiction November, and I like to participate and read nonfiction in November because it's fun and I like to do it. So, uh, but first, the first book I will be reading in November is not nonfiction. It's going to be the only fiction book that I read, and that is a part of Steve Donahue. The great Steve Donahue is hosting a read-along. Well, he does it every month, but for November, he's going to be hosting a read-along for Moby Dick or The Whale by Herman Melville. This is a masterpiece. It's wonderful. It's one of my favorites, as we all know, and I'm so excited to be rereading this. I'm so pumped. So I'm really looking forward to November for the read-along. I, I Maybe I'll do uh, like weekly discussions so I could talk about the book as well. That would be cool, but don't hold me to that. Moving on. The rest are going to be nonfiction. <laughs> I've been saying I'm going to read this book for forever, and I still have it, but it's happening this month. Krakatoa by Simon Winchester, The Day the World Exploded, August 27, 1883. A nonfiction book about a volcano that erupted. Ooh, ah, should be exciting. Moving on. Another one that I said I was going to read forever ago. That is Rocket Boys. Um, is that just, that's the title, Rocket Boys, by Homer H. Hickam Jr., author of Back to the Moon, the New York Times best-selling memoir that inspired the film October Sky. Next, I have one that is so pretty. Look at this little pretty penguin book. It's called Sailing Alone Around the World by Joshua Slocum. Slocum, I'm not exactly sure. This is the classic travel narrative of the first man to circumnavigate the world single-handedly, to sail around the world. Uh, in April of 1895, he sailed out of Boston. And then I have a book that I haven't had for too long. I mean, I bought it a I guess I bought it a while ago. I bought it last year, I think. Um, but it was really pretty and it sounded interesting and so I bought it. And that is Serendipity, An Ecologist's Quest to Understand Nature by James A. Estes, forward by Harry W. Green. Can you see? Can you see? There's an otter on on the cover. So Serendipity tells the story of James Estes. He is a field biologist and this is part memoir, part natural history. Serendipity will entertain and inform readers as it raises thoughtful questions about our relationship with the natural world. Um, this biologist, I think he studies sea otters and their relationship with kelp forests. So it's about that in Alaska, I think. So it should be interesting. And lastly, I, I don't think I'm going to get to it, but I really want to start this. I've been eyeballing it. It's been staring at me. We've been staring at each other. It's been telling me, Erica, read me. And that is this John Steinbeck biography. It is a monster of a biography, obviously. Uh, but I really want to read it. I really just, I want to. I just want to. So hopefully I can start this. I don't think, like I said, I'll finish it, but it's John Steinbeck, you know? Okay, so those are the books that I would like to read in November. I would love to know what you plan to read in November. Are you participating in nonfiction November? If you're not, you should. Okay, cool. All right, you guys have a great day or day wherever you are, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.